In order for driver monitoring to be effective, it needs to be consistent and frequent. It also needs to have the ability to be federally compliant. Let's talk about driver monitoring. It's, it's, I think it's a, it's a term that uh, has a broad meaning. In our, in our vernacular, it's got a very specific meaning. But if I were to ask a number of customers, even competitors, what is monitoring? Monitoring might be pulling an MVR once a year. Monitoring might be pulling an MVR a couple of times a year. Monitoring to others might mean I look for violations from courts and send them over to, the, uh, to, our, to a customer. But in our mind, that's not what monitoring is. Monitoring has to have a frequency, so it's got to happen continuously. It happens all the time. We, you know, California, we get it daily. Other states, we might get it weekly. Whatever the state we can get the data from, whatever their form is, we'll take it and process it immediately. So monitoring is frequency. It's also got to have the ability to, to be federally compliant. In other words, if I have an issue, my customer wants to take action or an adverse action. Well, you can't do that if the data is coming off of, uh, you know, even a telematics device or if it's coming from the court system. It's got to be adjudicated, it's got to be validated, and it's got to go to the driving record where you can actually then confirm the violation and then make an adverse action. So there's a number of aspects that, you know, is very important to driver monitoring.